Thanksgiving Eve to you. The weather remains fantastic as we head towards the holiday on Thursday. And uh, we do have some wet weather to talk about during a couple of parts of the holiday weekend. We'll break all of it down in this evening's video. This will be kind of a short video because, yeah, the weather actually is, uh, for the most part, cooperating in uh, our local area and throughout the uh, rest of the country for holiday travelers. So looking good this evening after a nice sunset from our transmitter tower on the south side of Youngstown. The sky remains mostly clear on this uh, Wednesday evening. And it's another uh, good opportunity to check out the snow cover uh, across the uh, snow belts of Northeast Ohio, Northwest PA, and Southwest New York. Now this is actually yesterday's shot. Let's watch this. Then I'm gonna play this forward and we'll go to today's shot. You'll notice some shrinking of the snowpack, but not as much as you would think w uh, with an afternoon in the 50s with sunshine. But we have to remember it's not March or early April. It's late November. The sun is really weak and low in the sky. So despite temperatures getting into the mid 50s this afternoon, the snowpack uh, which is pretty deep in some spots, did not shrink a whole lot up in Ashtabula County, uh, Crawford County, Geauga County, Lake, and, and uh, over into Erie County as well. Again, nationwide, things are pretty ho-hum this evening. We like to hear that. We like to see that on what is traditionally the busiest travel day of the year. The major airport hubs like, oh, Atlanta and New York City and Dallas and Chicago, they're all looking pretty good this evening. A couple of rain showers around Dallas. That is about it. And our, thanks <coughs> pardon me, our Thanksgiving be another winter be a little bit cloudier than the last couple of days just some fair weather cirrus clouds making for kind of a milky sky and i'm going to rewind this a little bit so here's our shower chance this looks a little faster than it did 24 hours ago so it may even start raining towards midnight tomorrow night and heading into the wee hours of friday morning impacting some early birds uh, seeking some bargains on friday morning but the faster movement of these showers means that uh, we'll be dry in most spots uh, by mid-morning at the latest and we're talking about clouds now breaking for some sunshine by Friday afternoon and lots of sunshine in store for our Saturday. It'll be a nice day locally. It'll be a nice day down in Columbus for Ohio State, Michigan. A noon kickoff at the Horseshoe. Saturday afternoon, number two versus number three, and the weather will be a non-issue. It's going to be very, very pleasant down there. So breaking down the hourly rain chances now uh, for Friday morning, I might even have to update this a little bit more before this evening is through as things continue to look a little bit faster. But as you can see, the highest rain chances overall before daybreak, maybe a couple of lingering raindrops during the first couple of hours of daylight. But by the afternoon, we are looking high and dry. All right. A couple of weather systems will impact us beyond Friday. One coming our way Sunday. This, that's this guy right here. This will bring us a good chance for occasional showers on Sunday. And then a week from today, uh, another system approaching from the west. Now, this doesn't look as impressive right now, first thing Wednesday morning, but this is going to deepen uh, throughout the course of Wednesday, drawing in some pretty good golf moisture. And actually, uh, it's going to be pretty warm and even a touch muggy a week from today on Wednesday. And also a pretty good chance for some showers and maybe even there's some kind of rare late November thunderstorms on that final day of November one week from today. All right, the pattern remains pretty mild compared to the average through the end of the month. But as we flip the calendar over into December, uh, while there may be a day or two at the very beginning of the month that still is fairly mild, I'm expecting the cold to start winning more battles again as we head deeper into December. We're going to get into a pretty favorable pattern for a, uh, a colder period with blocking in the northern Atlantic, blocking over Alaska with blocking in those locations the cold gets funneled southward into the lower 48 states and while it doesn't look extreme to me at this point i do think that uh, again if you've been watching this video lately it's no surprise to hear me say that december is likely to have a distinctly different flavor this year compared to last year and compared to the last handful of years we haven't had a, a significantly colder than average december in five years now so this may be our best opportunity in recent memory to have a cold start to meteorological winter. All right, that'll do it for me tonight and for the rest of this week. I'll see you back here on Monday. Hope you and yours have a happy Thanksgiving. Stay safe, everyone, and have a great holiday weekend.